Hello again, everyone. Today's video is going to be on fractions and more specifically, parts and wholes. So why don't we go ahead and take a closer look at that now. So let me give a little bit of an explanation here. The more equal parts the same whole is divided into, the smaller the size of each part. In the diagram above, each equal part is one sixth, and that's talking about this one here. In the fraction one sixth, the numerator is one, and the denominator is six, because six of these parts total one whole. So you can write one equals six over six. What can you say about the three fourth diagram above? So let's take a closer look at this. Now, there's quite a few things you can say, and I'm just gonna give you a couple of them that I would say, but there's a whole lot more. If you can think of any others, you can leave it in, a, in the description down below. The numerator is three, because we're talking about three of the equal parts, and three of the equal parts here is this red part here that's shaded here. Okay, so that's one thing you can say. Another thing you can say is the denominator is four because four of these parts total one whole. So we are talking about four parts here and that makes it the denominator. For the bonus activity, I'm gonna have two of them. And here's the first one. And again, I am using the mathlearningcenter.org website and I will leave a link to these bonus activities in the description down below. So for the first one here, it says, use the squares above to complete these. For example, five over blank equals one, and one equals blank over four. Okay, so basically you're going to shade in. So what I do here is go down to the color feature here, click on it and just choose color. We've got five here, two, three, four, five. And then what makes it one here to shade it in? Well, it's also going to be five. So I'm gonna shade in five. I'm gonna take the text here. So I'm gonna double click here. Then I'm just gonna go up to here and then click on the answer here that makes it five. So now I've got five over five equals one. Let's look at one equals blank over four. So I cleared it just so it's a little easier to do. So then I'm gonna go down here. I'm gonna choose purple. So the denominator is four here. So the numerator then would also be four. So I'm just gonna shade that in. So I'm gonna go down here again, click on it, then just type four. And then I'm done. So now I have one equals four over four. So basically I'm providing you this graph above here to help you solve A, B, C, and D. Okay, so you can do that with this that I've given you. Let's take a look at the second bonus activity now. So for the second bonus activity, the question says, which shape in each pair has a larger fraction shaded here? So I put this pen feature here, just so if you wanna circle it, you can use that. So I'm gonna close it off, but it'll be available for you in the link here. The second one here has the larger fraction shaded. So I'm circling it here and basically do the same thing for A, B, and C. So that's today's video. And again, I thought I used the mathlearningcenter.org website to kind of help you uh, do the bonus activity. You see me use it in the past. So um, if you want to check out any of those videos, uh, you can just check out my channel and you can see they're pretty clear where they are. Okay, so that'll do it for today's video. And as always, thank you so much for spending part of your day with me. And I look forward to seeing you on the next video.